good evening this is the last session day 10 of the mock test offered by professor academy for the upcoming ug senate english let's go to today's session question 1 what is the only poem ascribed to the scottish poet john barber b a r b o u r with certainty option a the king's square q u a i r B. Fall of Princess. C. The Wallace. W. A. L. L. A. C. E. D. The Bruce. Answer. D. The Bruce. So what you can do? Find out the authors of the other works. The King's Square. Fall of Princess. The Wallace. Let's look at this work by John Barber. The Bruce which refers to Robert the Bruce, King of Scots, who defeated Edward II, King of England, in the famous Battle of Bannockburn, B-A-N-N-O-C-K-B-U-R-N, in 1314. Next question. When did Miles Coverdale's translation of the Bible, which is considered the first complete Bible uh, in English, appear? Option A. 1382, B, 1525, C, 1535, D, 1611. Answer, C, 13, uh, 1535. So the year in which Miles Coverdale's translation of the Bible came out. Let's also focus on the other years which are also connected with translation of the Bible. 1382 uh, is about John Wycliffe's translation, or at least the translation attributed to John Wycliffe, translation of the Bible. Then we have a famous translation by William Tyndale in 1525. Then 35 we have Miles Coverdale. Then the landmark year 1611, King James version of the Bible or the authorized version of the Bible came out. Next, which work of Thomas Hobbes is subtitled The Long Parliament? A. Leviathan, B. Behemoth, B. H. E. M. O. T. H. Then C. De Homin, H. O. M. I. N. E. D. De Sim, C. I. V. Answer B. Behemoth, B. E. H. E. M. O. T. H whose top side subtitle is The Long Parliament. But when we think of Thomas Hobbes, we think of his famous work, Leviathan. Let's also focus on the other works by Thomas Hobbes. We have De Homin, H-O-M-I-N-E, which means on man. Then the Civ, C-I-V-E, which means on the citizen. There is also another work called the Corpor, C-O-R-P-O-R-E, which means on the body. Next question. In which book of Virgil's Latin epic, Aeneid, does Aeneas go to the underworld and meet his father, Anchises, A-N-C-H-I-S-E-S? Option A, book 1. Option B, book 6. Option C, book 7. Option D, book 12. It's a bit tough question, but we get questions from classical literature. You know, we get questions from Homer's Iliad and Odyssey, then Virgil's Aeneid. Or we also get questions from Dante's Epic and Milton's Epic. So what you can do when you get time, read, um, you know, at least the gist or outline of Iliad, Odyssey, Aeneid and other works, classical works. Answer? B, book 6. This episode is very important where because this also becomes an epic tradition. So if you write an epic in uh, about a hero, then the hero in one of the books, you know, goes to the underworld to meet someone. So in this work, Virgil's epic, we have the title character Aeneas go, no, who goes to the underworld to meet his dead father. And this is the famous episode. So that's why it comes in uh, in this work, which is significant, book six. 
Next, Leo Tolstoy's, the Russian writer Leo Tolstoy's novel War and Peace chronicles events in Russia during option A, the October Revolution, B, the July days, C, the Napoleonic Wars, D, the Bolshevik Revolution. We know Leo Tolstoy's War and Peace is a classical work. Uh, it's a classic uh, and it's an epic novel. Answer, the Napoleonic Wars. Next one, we have this Indian writer Asif Karimbai, C-U-R-R-I-M-B-H-O-Y. His play, The Dumb Dancer, concerns the Kathakali dancer named what? Who identifies himself with his namesake in the Ramayana. So this Kathakali dancer thinks that he's a character from, one of the characters from the Mahabharata. So which character? Option A, Arjuna, B, Bhima, C, Nakula, D, Sahadeva. Answer, B, Bhima. So, in net exams these days, we get a lot of questions from Indian literature, Indian novel, Indian play. So, what you can do, you can make a list of famous or uh, significant uh, Indian playwrights and their works and get to know at least the outline of these works. So here you have learned something about Asif Karimboy's The Dumb Dancer. You can also make a list of other works by Asif Karimboy. And in order to remember, we can have some mnemonic techniques. For instance, we have Asif Karimboy's The Dumb Dancer, but there's a play called The Dumb Waiter. Of course, these are two different plays, but The Dumb Dumb could be a commonality. The Dumb Waiter is by Harold Pinter. So somehow this will stay in your mind because dumb dancer on the one side and dumb waiter on the other side. One by Asif Karimbai and Harold Pinter. There are similar parallels. Novel, debut novel. So White Peacock by D.H. Lawrence, White Tiger by Arvind Adiga. So what you can do, um, try to find out the year in which Arvind Adiga's White Tiger uh, won the Booker Prize. So this is how you can draw parallels. Next, choose the novel that is set in the province of Kodagu, K-O-D-A-G-U, which means Kurg, in South India and concerns the Kalayanda clan. K-A-L-E-Y-A-N-D-A. So there are four novels. We have A, Boman Desai's The Memory of Elephants. B, Kaveri Nambisan's The Scent of Pepper. C, David Davidon's The House of Blue Mangoes. D, Arvind Adiga's Between the Assassinations. Answer, at least you can eliminate certain uh, you know, options. For instance, it has some clues. Kodagu, you know, kind of a Kurg station, the hill stations in South India. So, which could be it? Is it blue mangoes or elephants or pepper? Between the assassinations, uh, you know, that that doesn't go with the setting. Answer B. Kaveri Nambisans, the scent of pepper. So, you have also learned about uh, you also get to know other famous works by Indian writers. We have Woman Desai's The Memory of Elephants, David Davidor's The House of Blue Mangoes, and Arvind Adiga's Between the Assassinations. Next, which play of Girish Karnot's Girish Karnot is based on the myth of Evakri, Y-A-V-A-K-R-I, from the Mahabharata? Option A, Hayavadana, B, Nahamandala, C, the Fire and the Ring, D, Wedding Album. Answer, C, The Fire and the Ring. So when it comes to Indian plays, definitely you will, uh, you know, if, if at all there is a question, definitely you will get a question from Girish Karnad. So we had better read about Girish Karnad's list of works and the gist of all these works. Hi Vadana, 
Nahamandala, The Fire and the Rain, Wedding Album, Tuklak, for instance. Next, we have assertion, reason, assertion, A, reason, R. So here is an assertion. Bertolt Brecht's notion of alienation effect is non-Aristotelian. This is the assertion. So we know Bertolt Brecht, German playwright, known for um, a type of play called Epic Theater. So let me know in the comment section, one of the plays by Brecht, which exemplifies Epic Theater. So his idea of alienation effect is actually non-Aristotelian. So this is the assertion. Reason. Brecht rejects the classical or Aristotelian thesis that drama should be based on an emotional catharsis. So this is the reason. So now try to find out the answer. Option A, both assertion and reason, both A and R are true. And R is the true explanation of A. B, both A and R are true, but R is not the true explanation of A. C, A is true, but R is false. D, A is false, but R is true. Answer, A, both A and R are true, and R is the true explanation of A. So in a sense, Brecht's idea of alienation effect in his epic theater is actually non-Aristotelian because he doesn't want his audience or readers to become one with the setting or the characters. So you have to distance yourself from the play and you have to think about the problems or issues discussed in the oak. So you should not have any emotional bond with the characters or the uh, you know the scene portrayed there, which is exactly opposite to Aristotle's idea of drama, where audience should become one with characters of all everything. So we have this concept called catharsis. You feel pity and fear for the characters. Next one. Yes. Which group is associated with the first wave of feminism? A. The Lolots. B. The Luddites. C, the Jacobins, D, the suffragettes. Answer is obvious here though. D, the suffragettes. S, U, F of R, A, G, E, T, T, E, S. So whenever in English we have this suffix E, T, T, E, which refers to feminine gender, suffragette. So a group of women who fought for, who campaigned for the voting rights of women, suffrage, voting rights. So that is associated with the first wave of feminism. What you can do, you can read about the waves of different waves of feminism and the famous feminists and their works. So with this, we finish the mock test offered by Professor Academy. Um, you know, last 10 days, every day we discuss 10 questions, totally 100 questions. So go through all the 100 questions uh, one more time on the options. Definitely in the upcoming uh, UGC NET exam, you can crack uh, the exam. So thank you so much for the upcoming batch, uh, the new batch for UGC NET and SET. Uh, Professor, Ac Professor Academy is offering courses for paper one or along with paper one, we have English, management, commerce, uh, education, computer science, uh, economics, law, psychology, Tamil history, geography, home science, sociology, social work, life science, physical science, chemical science, and mathematical science. So to join the course, you can contact these numbers 70701005 or 70701009. Thank you and all the best for the upcoming exam.